Welcome to Bar Owner TV, the industry's leading source of the newest and hottest promotions and most profitable marketing strategies. Here's your host, Nick Fosberg. Hello and welcome to Bar Owner TV. This is the first episode of the new year and I've got a great story and a great lesson to share with you today. I didn't wanna wait this long to get this new episode out, but I've had a little more on my plate lately than I've anticipated. So my buddy Derek has been asking me for about a year now that he wanted to open up a bar with me and I told him, hey, you find a great location, the numbers make sense, I'll do it. I said, you cover the day-to-day -day operations, I'll handle the marketing and promotions, and things will be just perfect, we'll get along just fine. Well, we found a perfect place, landlords are excited, Alderman is all on board, but we hit a pretty big speed bump just a few days ago. We have one old man in the neighborhood fighting to do everything he can to put a stop to it, creating rumors throughout the media that were untrue, all over TV and in the newspaper. So I had to answer back, politely and professionally. Now, the lesson in today's episode is really within the video and the website that I created, which I'll give you in just a second. But let me explain what to take away from this video and the site. So here I am just last Friday with a neighborhood who is against our business venture. The question now is, what do I need to do to sell and persuade these neighbors to fall in love with the business plan and want this bar in the neighborhood? You know, How do I overcome all the objections? Now, this is exactly what you should be thinking about in all of your marketing thinking about your prospect and thinking about what objections might be going on in their head about your offer or thinking about you know what you need to say to them to make them get you to take you up on your offer. And I say this all the time, but 99% of bar restaurant owners market their business all the same. They sit there, they promote their specials and entertainment and that's it. They promote their specials. Well, what they never do is use the written word within their marketing to tell their prospect how their offer or promotion will benefit them in some way. And if your prospect doesn't clearly see or understand the benefit, you're not gonna see great results from your marketing. Same thing with the new bar we're trying to open. If the neighborhood doesn't get the truth about the business model that we're trying to follow, if they don't see how my business venture will benefit the neighborhood, well, they won't accept the new business venture in the neighborhood and we'll be out of luck. So I want you to check out ruralontap.com and the link will be down below. But take a look at the seven minute video to see how I overcame all the objections and how I presented myself. Take a look at all the Facebook comments below the video and see the reaction of the people of the neighborhood and what this video did after last Friday. After you do this, think about the next promotion you're gonna run and how you're going to persuade customers to come in for it and how it will benefit them. Now, in just a few weeks, I have a new webinar coming up that is going to get more into detail about how to use the written word in your marketing. And I'll promise you this, what you'll hear on this webinar is unlike anything you've ever heard me talk about before or unlike anything you've ever heard from anybody else in our industry talk about before. So. Go ahead, take a look at ruralontap.com, check out the video, and let me know what you think, and we'll see you next week on Bar Owner TV. Thank you.